Hi everyone, Michelle here from The Creative Cove and thanks for joining me today. I had a, a few requests on um, my Instagram page and a couple of comments on the YouTube channel about uh, some subject matter to draw. So one of them was bees, uh, bumblebees specifically and a couple honeybee requests. So I thought I'd do that for you today. Um, it's like any of my quickie sketches. It's all about relaxing, uh, just trying to capture form really quickly, uh, playing with some tools that you might have. In this case, we're gonna use some pencil crayons, and if we have time, I think I might try some Prismacolor. Uh, so let's get started. We're going to have some fun today with uh, a couple of different techniques. So we'll start with um, a simple sketch, and then I thought we'd have some fun with uh, some layouts and designs, uh, ways to implement things in your journal. Uh, we want to capture the form, like I said, with the pencil, and then we can embellish with the marker. So you can you can tie these in any way you want into your journal. So you can see I've been busy playing and practicing with some bees here. Uh, I also had some watercolor specimens out. I uh, don't know if we'll have time for watercolor today, but we can do we can do that another day. Uh, here's a study I did on some honeybees. So. You know, as you're drawing them and researching them, you're learning a lot about them. There's all kinds of different uh, bees from worker drone to queen. Uh, these are honeybees that I was working on. And uh, and then I got into the bumblebee, which I think is really cute with his uh, cute little wide bum. So uh, let's get started on doing some sketches. So I'm just gonna tidy up a little bit here. So I thought maybe we'll we'll start on our usual coffee dyed paper, which I always use. And we will be using uh, a couple of different tools today. So my, fortunately my mechanical pen is broken. So I've broken out my old uh, Stedler pencils here. So I have an HB and a 3B. So a, a medium lead to a softer lead. And then I have a couple of Prismacolor pencils. So I'm just, this is the color palette that I chose. Uh, some blue, some yellow, some orange, and uh, some green. So I'll mark the, the specific Prisma colors that I'm using for this video in the description box below. So these are the Prisma Color Premieres, but you can use any pencil crayon. This is a higher end pencil crayon, so I find they blend a little bit better, uh, but you can use whatever you've got. So let's get started on our bee. So I think we'll do a cute little honey bee. And uh, I'm gonna start with my HB pencil. I'm gonna see if I can zoom you in. And again, we're getting more rain today. So we've had tons of rain, which is good, because I know a lot of people haven't. But uh, everything is crazy green right now, which unfortunately makes things crazy dark outside. So let's just start with a circle. And then we're gonna start with an oval around the back which is approximately two sizes the size of the original circle. So this is gonna be his little bum. I guess this is a thorax here. And then we're gonna give him a little head. So there's one, two, three. And remember, we're staying loose here. We're, we're just sketching. Uh, then I wanna give him his wings. So I wanna draw a line across the top of his head. And I find they have these very short wings. It's amazing to me how they fly because they look so tiny, the wings, compared to the size of their body, but they must be very, very strong wings. So I'm gonna take the center of his back and I'm gonna pull the wing out and wrap it around and bring it back to that center. So now what I have is that negative space to follow. So I know that this negative shape here should be the same on this side and that helps me stay symmetrical, because that can be challenging drawing things that are symmetrical. So I'm just gonna mimic that shape. Then I'm gonna give him his secondary wing, his back wing here, and I'm just gonna give it a little teardrop shape, playing it back out. So now I'm gonna take my eraser and just clean up the inside here a little bit and get rid of those little reference lines, just like we did the dragonfly video with the reference lines. I'm gonna go to my, uh, sorry, I'm gonna stay with my HB pencil for a minute. I'm gonna just give myself some wiggly lines to imply the delicate veins throughout his wings. 
And now I'm gonna to switch to my harder pen, uh, my softer pencil, sorry, my 3B. And it's just a softer lead, so it's a little bit easier to fill in all the little details in the dark black that he has. So I'm gonna fill in his head. I'm gonna give him a little peek right here, a little fuzzy peek. And on the side, I'm just gonna give him a tiny bubble. I hope you can see that. Maybe, maybe put it up close to you. Hopefully that's in focus. There's just these tiny little indication of eyes here. All right, and I'm just gonna fill in his color pattern. So he's this nice little fuzzy black back. And then I'm gonna loop around the bottom. And you can see I'm going up and down with my pencil and out to the side, because that's the way his little fuzzy hairs grow. And I'm gonna go out here like this. And I think I'm gonna narrow his his uh, bum a little bit. I keep calling it a bum. <laughs> a little bumblebee bum. Just gonna bring it in a little bit narrower. It's a little too big. And just give a little bit of fur at the bottom where his stinger would be. So now he's got a little antennas. So we draw a little antennas coming out. And he's got his front legs. So the legs are, are I like to do, I just, I kind of go out in a triangle, out in a triangle, and then a thin line. So out in a triangle, out in a triangle, and a thin line. So this one might have been a bit too long. Let's make that a little narrower. And that's the beauty of these quickie sketches is they're adjustable. You can uh, adjust it as you go, as you're feeling it out and realize, oh, that's not right. And you can change it and just darken those wings a bit so we don't lose them. Let's give him his back leg. So he's got a leg back here, and I do the triangle out, a triangle out. They've got these little segments. I do a triangle out, a triangle out, these little sticky feet segments. So we can either put the other leg up here, but I think I'm gonna put this guy's leg back here. And I know there's uh, different species of bumblebees where, where their legs come out of their body, but I'm not, a connoisseur of bumblebees myself. So I'm just kind of going with the feel of where I want to place them. And there we go, there's our little bumblebee. So you can write things like be happy and cut it out and make some ephemera with it. You can glue this straight in and put some journal lines in. So the next thing I wanted to show you um, is how to do some color on him. So I've got these cute little, I've used these before in my videos where I have um, these little journal things that I glue in and they peel off. I got them off Amazon and I love these, they're so handy. And let's do a honeybee this time. So there's all kinds of different honeybees. Uh, again, I'm not a beekeeper, so I don't know too much about them. I'm learning as I go. Uh, but I think this guy is going to be the, what did I, what did I call him? I think he's the drone, so he's quite big. So we're gonna repeat the, the same thing. We're gonna go with the circle. It's a bit more of an oval shape because he's a much longer bee than our little bumblebee, which I'll leave right here. So our bumblebee short and fat and heavy. These guys are a little bit more lightweight and powerful. So I'm gonna pull another oval coming out. Sorry, I'm gonna rotate it this way. Another oval coming out, the bottom of that one. So his thorax here and then his tail end and then his head. So a little oval semicircle there. And we're gonna give him some eyes on the side. He's got these nice bulgy eyes. And we're gonna put his wings in. So his wings uh, are not up high, they're down low. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line at through the, just below the neck and go across like this in a nice light line. So I'm gonna switch back to my HB, I forgot to switch back. Just I find the HB is, is harder so you get a little bit more um, detail in the sense that it's a direct line when the softer pencils give you more of a sketch line. And uh, it's nice to have an assortment of different weight pencils. 
So I'm going to pull this out this way. I'm going to copy it because I want to say symmetrical and he's got the same shape. So they come down like this and they come down like this. And I want to make sure that I'm even as much as I can be. And then I'm going to give him his back wing, which kind of overlaps the front wing. And again, just a sketch, just to capture that form. We can make adjustments after as well. So I'm gonna just clean this up a little bit with my eraser. And you can pause this video anytime you want, just to catch up or change some lines. And that's the beauty of YouTube. All right, so let's give him some details. So he's still fuzzy like the bumblebee. He's got a nice wide head. He's got his antenna. He's got a nice little back here. I'm gonna color it in just a little bit because I wanna use the black pencil here, but I wanna make sure I get where the color's supposed to be. So as I've talked in my previous videos, we talked about contour lines. So we wanna make the, the butt end of the bee, the, the drone, look um, round. So if we did straight across, we'd lose that illusion. But if we do a contour line where we follow the form of the bee, we'll create a much more realistic illusion of a circle or a, a cylinder, I should say. All right, so let's put his legs in. So he's got these tiny little, same thing, little segment legs. They're, I find them a little bit short for the for the size of his body. And then he's got these big, powerful hind legs. So same thing, triangle, triangle, little sticky leg. Triangle, triangle, sticky leg. And then he's got another big, powerful leg behind. Powerful, strong, sticky legs. And I guess they have um, little sacks to carry all the honey that they produce the nectar, I should say, that they collect. So I'm just gonna do some squiggly lines in so I know where I'm at. Okay, so there's our sketch. So for this one, I wanted to use uh, some color. So I've got my Micron uh, pen here. This is a 08. Um, it's a bit chunkier than I usually use. I can't find my 03. So the uh, number here defines the thickness of the nib. So uh, if you go the smaller the number, the finer the, the nib is. But we'll use what we got. So I'm just gonna color over where I want the black. So you can see it's a pretty thick nib. I find you have a lot more control with a finer one if you're trying to get some, some finer details. But this is just one of our cookie sketches. So it's my dog sneezing. <laughs> All right, now I'm just gonna wiggle in some lines here. I'm gonna now thicken out that back of his, and I'm gonna start wiggling in some detail. So same thing, just sticking to those contour lines, up and down squiggles. Indicate his little pattern of yellow and black. Let's fill in his legs. I hope everyone's doing well. Hope you've all been sketching away with your journals, having fun, enjoying the summer if you're in uh, this side of the world. The uh, Northern Hemisphere, I guess. If you're in the Southern, I guess you're in winter. There we go. Okay, so that, that's the uh, black that I've added. We can come revisit the black if we feel we need more. So uh, I also have this white marker. It's a uh, paint marker. I don't know the brand, U Uniball. Um, and it's a, an acrylic paint marker, which is a lot of fun. But you have to use the marker before you use the pencil crayon because the pencil crayon is wax. So the marker won't sit on top of the wax. So I like to just hit a few highlights with the white and it doesn't show quite as much on um, 
this white paper as it would say on the coffee dyed paper like here. It shows up a lot more. But I still, I like to wiggle some in his wings just for another textured element. And since it's just a quick sketch, it's kind of fun to do. A little bit in his eyes and head. You know, he's very furry. With a little fur indication on his leg. Very loose. So I'm gonna now add some yellow, because he's a bee, in those little areas. And I think I'll add just a touch of orange. Just to tone him down a little bit. Maybe he's got a little pollen on his leg. Ooh, that was too much. Let's see if I can erase some of that. I'm doing it early in the morning and I've got the coffee jitters, I think. <laughs> so I get a little... Oh, now I'm pushing too hard. That's all right, it's just a sketch. There we go. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to do something like a, um, a honeycomb behind him. So I'm gonna take my HB pencil and I'm gonna go right through the middle of him. And I'm gonna pull out the side and then this side. This side. So you can decorate them any way you want, which is kind of fun. So there's the honeycomb, if you like that look. And then we can go back to our black micron paper, uh, pen. Just straighten out, sorry if my hand's in the way. I'm not good at straight lines. And I'll double up that line. Comb. And then we can erase this, erase any of the uh, pencil lines. Darken up that orange again if we feel we've lost some. And there you go. So there's the little honeybee in a honeycomb. So there's another sketch. So then I thought uh, what we could do is maybe, uh, let's see, I had these really pretty, which I think are pretty anyways, uh, these little decorations here around. So I wanted to show you how to do that. Let's see, let's see if we have time for that. So I'm just gonna use this, and do I have a circle handy? I have my coffee mug. It's not really a circle though. And I'm not good at drawing circles, so I like to trace something round. I really just have my glue here. So let's use that. It's a bit smaller than what I wanted, but it gives us an idea. So all I do is I draw the circle around. So it gives me an idea of how to stay um, round. And then I'll draw a little B in it. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the, uh, let's do another little cute little honey uh, bumblebee. So another circle and then a head and do the wings. So this one I'm just going to do quickly because you're going to repeat repeat what you did over here. Just wanted to show you how to design another element with the flowers around it so you can really have fun decorating a journal with these cute little adorable bees. So I'm just going to do this really quick. Sketch them out. Okay, and I'm going to go back to my marker. Scribble them in. And I was hoping we would have time to, I hope you can see what I'm doing. Time to uh, use the um, Prismacolor markers as well. So I'm just going to rush through this a little bit. You can fast forward this part. And 
Again, the, the more you sketch, the looser you get, the faster you get, the more confident you get. And like I said in my previous videos, even, even for every sketch that you don't like, you learn something new. You build that confidence up, and that's really all it is. Confidence and practice, just like anything in life. It's just confidence. So let's do some, I'd like to do some flowers around here. So I'm going to do some wiggly lines. And then I'm going to do some leaves on those lines, nice and loose. So I just do these kind of leaf shapes coming out. And you can decorate your ephemera with this. I like to leave some space in between and then I'll put a flower. So I'm gonna do a couple of little squiggly lines for this stamen. And then I'm gonna do some, just a simple four little petal flower. And do another one over here. We're gonna go over with marker so you can change whether or not you want the flower in front of those leaves or behind. You just wiggle some lines out. And this one we'll do is a little side profile so they're not all the same. All right, let's draw that in and then we can go from there what we need. I just re squiggle my lines. Nice and easy, nice and loose. Do some of the leaves. I'm sorry, my hand keeps getting in the way. Okay, so now we can erase our pencil and see what we want to add. So once you've learned a couple of little things like how to draw the bee, you can really up your game and, and play with um, other design elements. So it's a lot of fun. So let's maybe do some little curls here. Attach all my leaves, add another leaf where it's missing. Another one, trying to keep my hand out of the way. Okay, and maybe some berries. Let's put some berries in here, it's a little black. Something black anyways, just to incorporate this dark area here to the rest of the design. Try and keep my hand out of the way. Ah, no more coffee for me today. Got the shakes. My hands are shaking. I think I've had three cups of coffee. I didn't sleep much last night. <laughs> All right, then we can put some color in. So let's uh, let's use the white marker. Like I said, it shows up a lot nicer on the coffee dyed paper because I really like to pull the wings out. So I'm just scribbling over top. You can see how fast I'm scribbling. Stay kind of in the center of the bee. Highlight a little on the legs. And then I thought maybe we'll do the flowers, the white. I just pull out. So just like anything you draw, you wanna go in the direction in which they grow. Will always yield a more realistic look than just coloring it in like we did when we were kids. Just pull that pen away from the center in this case with the flowers. Just pull away. I think we'll add some green. 
So I got this chartreuse here. I'll throw some green in here. And I like that the look of the coffee dyed paper against these colors. It's they're really quite muted. They kind of look vintage, which I I love that look. Now if you like a fresh bright color, you can use a pencil crayon on just regular white paper will work as well, of course. Let's throw some yellow in for the B. And maybe some yellow in the center of the flower. Just incorporate that color palette. You can use pinks, purples, whatever colors you like. And I want to just do a little bit of orange in the bee, just to pull them out. We'll center orange in the flowers. How about that? And there we go. So you can cut this into a pocket. You can slice it around like this and use it as a flip cover. You can do whatever you want. All right, so there's some, there's some three ideas right there. So I wanted to show you the Prismacolor and I hope the video is not too long for you, but I thought it'd be kind of nice to do a B on some music note paper. This has not been coffee dyed. This is just a standard uh, newsprint. So I think we'll do a bumblebee again. So let's uh, let's do a nice big bumblebee this time. So I'm gonna do my circle. I'm gonna do my fat oval at the bottom. Should have roughly two of these in it. That's how you know proportion wise. Then I'm gonna give myself the semicircle head. And then I'm gonna give my wings. So the bumblebee has high wings. So I'm gonna do the line at the top of the head. I'm gonna pull out his wing on his back, and I'll mimic that negative space here on this side. So I know I can go up like this, and it helps me stay proportionate and hopefully symmetrical. So this shape and this shape are roughly the same. And then you can have a you know a rough idea. You can use your pencil here and go like this and say, okay, they're, they're the same length. Another little tool to help you stay symmetrical and even it can be tricky. So a little back wing here, just kind of like a little teardrop shape. Nice and loose. Okay, I'm going to put his legs in. So I'm going to switch to the black marker now so you can see a little bit better. So here's his head. So I'll color that in nice and quick. And again, I'm just scribbling. I'm going to give him his eye. And give him his antenna. Okay, I'm gonna give him his wings. There's something under here. And give him his wings. Hopefully I'm in frame here. Nice and loose sketch. And what I like about these sketches, you kind of feel the shape with the pencil and make adjustments as you go. squiggly lines for his delicate wings and then we're gonna fill in the furry bit of his back you can use a thicker marker it would go even faster I'm just trying to go as fast as I can so the video is not too long but I want you to see that you can use any markers or Pencil crayons, you can combine the two. Whatever you find laying around, have fun with it. Doing these cookies here, trying to capture this guy before he's flown to the next flower. I wanted to show you a side profile too, and I forgot. Darn it. I don't know if we have time for that. We'll see how fast we can get this done. Scribble this. Nice and fast. Again, just back and forth, trying to keep that form. All right, so let's scribble in his legs. Nice and quick. Two, and a sticky. And then we'll go back here, one. 
They have these cute little segments here. Three, and another one, big muscly one back here. The pollen sacks, I guess. One, two, three, and another one. There's a big leg. And three. All right, let's try some Prismacolors. So this is Canary Yellow. So I'm going to throw some of that in there. And you can use any markers you got, Crayola crayons, whatever you want. No, no rules here, just whatever you want to use. And then I have a Yellow Ochre, which I think is a little bit darker. I'll do the edges with the Yellow Ochre. And I think I have a caramine car 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 red. Oops, wrong side. Just throw a little bit of orange in there. Just scribble. Introduce that color. And what else can we do? We could do some white in his wings. You can use pencil crayon for that. Again, this is just... Um, Music note paper, so it's not been coffee dyed, so there's not a high contrast on this white marker, but it does kind of pull out the wings off his back, which is nice. And put a little indication in his legs. And like I said, this is rushed. You can definitely give it a lot more effort than this. I thought it was kind of fun to do. A little bit of highlight on his back. And maybe just a little bit more black here. There. So now we have a big bumblebee. And you can use that any way you want. You can photocopy it and cut her up and do whatever you want with it. Okay, so let's see. Do I have time to do a side profile? I mean, you can always fast forward me if the video is too long. I just need a reference picture for a side. I'll use this one that I've drawn already. So we'll use this guy. So it's nice to draw them in different angles as well. So for the side profile, we'll do a, he's kind of got a um, teardrop shape, upside down teardrop. And then he has this little, I'm not sure what that's called. I guess it's what grabs the honey. Uh, grabs a nectar, sorry. And then he's got a oval in the eye. And he's got a little antennas coming up. And then he has a back here. And it's kind of curved because he swooped down. So we're going to just give him a bit of a neck. We'll start with the neck. And then off this back, we're going to give him a wing. So we go up and away, and I kind of swoop down back. And then he's got his front wing, which will swoop away and kind of come out at an angle like this. And I think we ran out of page. So it's kind of a hard shape, but this one is facing you and this one's behind his body. And then we can finish off the body here. And I should be doing this in pencil, but I already have the pen in my hand. So there's this kind of kidney shaped body right there. All right, so. It might take a little bit of practice because they're not very specific shapes other than this little teardrop shape. Kind of got to get a feel for it. Get some, um, like I said, uh, I always recommend using a reference when you're drawing so you have something to look at because I don't know what a bumblebee looks like close up. I have an idea, but I don't have all the details, which makes it difficult to mimic. So then I'm just going to put his little fuzzy segments in. And then I'm going to give him some legs. So he's got his little front leg still. And then he'll be drooping his back legs. So they're just going to sit in the air when he flies away. There, and give him some squiggles, his wings. 
And then we just repeat the process with the white. I like the uh, texture that this these markers offer. And we'll throw in some. And I like the contrast against the coffee paper. Kind of really pulls him off the page, this little white acrylic pen. Some yellow. And maybe a touch of orange in this one. I like the orange. Warms him right up. There we go. There's a side profile of a bee. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I hope it gave you some ideas and inspiration to uh, draw your own uh, images for your journals. If you do like my videos, please uh, subscribe and hit the like button. It really helps my channel. And I hope to see you again very soon. Have a great day, guys. Bye.